That's a three-point hitch PTO. I've got it hooked up to a six-foot heavy-duty brush hog. Now I'm just going to do a quick amateur explanation of how everything here works. You've got these here that are your lift arms, and they're hydraulically controlled. You can pick them up or down. We've got this here, which the name escapes me right now. I know it, but I can't think of it. It's a top link. And it's just hooked up there. Some tractors have a draft sensing deal, which doesn't have anything to do with this right now. But and that, that just keeps it, when you pick the arms up, it picks the top up too. So if you use it as a two-point hitch, it just picks the front up and it leaves the wheel are the guide wheel on the ground but if you have the top link on it picks the whole thing up off the ground and that's your PTO shaft comes right out of the back of the tractor you can have it hooked straight up to the crankshaft or you can have it in neutral or you can have it hooked up to the transmission um, when it's hooked up to the transmission it's called ground synchronous <coughs> and it goes at a speed proportional to the speed to the gear you're in and when it's um, when it's on a live PTO it, it's hooked straight up to, you, to your tractor's crankshaft and so it goes proportional to the engine um, the engine RPM whether you're stopped or moving or going backwards and then that's the connects to your gearbox it goes down it's got some gears and rods and stuff in it that goes down to the bottom now I'm gonna start my tractor up and lift it up so you can see the underside Shorten it so it comes up higher off the ground. That's good enough. underneath you have your shaft that comes out from the gearbox and then it's got a cross piece on it that's connected to two blades and the blades are free moving so that gives it like if you hit if you hit something hard the blade can go back and it doesn't break something on your tractor the blade just moves back and when it's going around the, mo the um, I can't think of it right now the force of the of the turning and the weight of the ends of the blade hold the blade straight out 